Welcome to Azalane, a side-scrolling shoot-em-up game that contains waifus that represent World War II warships that range from lolis to RRRRONISONS with different personalities. And also you can marry them, and also you can marry as much as you like. Now if you are looking for a good beginner's guide choose this one cause I am gonna give you helpful tips for beginners. Actually no I am just kidding laughing my fucking ass off this will not be helpful at all. Let's begin. Now most of you know that the game has a long tutorial, but there are still some things you have to consider when playing the game. Where to use gems, where to use coins, what to do with other in-game currencies, what does this or that mean, and etc. Now tip number one, do not get too greedy with shipbuilding even if the rates are not like FGO's rates, it is highly recommended for new players to get a lot of ships, but as you go further into the game, some tend to go over the edge and actually eat all of their cubes and because RN Jesus is being a BI I mean good person these days. At some points you'll end up with the desired ship or end up with annoying duplicates. Now tip number 2, when sorting ships, there are 3 different fleet formations you can use. Single line assault which offers 15% increased firepower and torpedo, but decreased evasion by 10%. Double line advance which offers 30% increased evasion, but firepower and torpedo are decreased by 5%. Circular defense which boosts anti-air by 20%. The most recommended out of all of them is the double line advance, but as you go through the campaign slash story, World 12 has a lot of aircraft in it, and luckily that's where the circular defense comes into play. When you sortie your ships to a new map, the danger level is usually at lethal. As you clear the maps from time to time again, the threat evaluation goes down and when it goes down, it offers damage reduction with the highest being 20%. These are the different threat levels in a map. Lethal threat evaluation is around 10 to 5, medium threat evaluation is around 5 to 2, low threat evaluation is around 2 to 1, and safe threat evaluation is obviously at 0. It is a good feature in the game and can help you decide whether or not to go full auto on the map or not. Plus who the fuck does auto mode anyway? Each fleet node has its own difficulty. Easy difficulty, identifiable by one triangle, medium difficulty, identifiable by two triangles, and hard difficulty, identifiable by three triangles. These are only found within these nodes only. As the difficulty increases, the enemies may change or even increase in numbers.
Then you have the secret node which can give either coins, dorm food, dom coins, or repair party consumables. Then the ammo node, which gives ammo. Now tip number 3, do not scrap all new ships you get yet. Though you may think that the ship you got is common or rare rarity, they can still be helpful in some ways. Leander, Cassin, Nevada, Foxhound and others get retrofits. Same goes for rare, elite and super rare ships. A lot of ships you may think may be useless, but a lot of them have skills that are most of the time fleet buffs, sister ship buffs, self buff, debuffs, or barrage. Retrofits are basically an advanced version of the ship which not only does it change the rarity to something higher, it changes the base stats of the ship and can sometimes convert ships into a new category of warships like Hamogamy, originally a light cruiser, became a heavy cruiser after its retrofit. Don't let your kids watch it! Now tip number 4, spend your gems the right way. Recommended things to purchase with gems are, dorm space, dock space, and rings. Don't be an idiot in spending 300 gems on creating a guild that has still served no purpose until this day or even buying items in Shirinu's shop that has items that can be purchased by gems or buying food and furniture in dorm that are purchasable with gems. Skins on the other hand are optional unless you want your ship girl to look great in battle. It's not necessary, but you can do it if you want. Now tip number 5, when scrapping ships, you get medals of honor. The amount you get depends on the rarity of the ship you scrapped. If you scrapped a rare ship, you get 1 medal of honor. An elite ship gives 4 medals, and a super rare ship gives 10 medals. In the exchange section there are a number of ships and gear you can purchase using medals of honor. Every 14 days or 2 weeks the super rare exchange ship changes, like Takayo here who will then be replaced by another super rare ship after the time period. Also the ship and gear exchange also changes per week. Now tip number 6, when getting duplicate ships, you can use them to limit break your ships. Ships like Universal Bullion and Prototype Bullion Mark II help limit break your ships. Universal Bullion can be used on ships that are on and below her rarity while Prototype Bullion Mark II can be used on super rare ships only. You can save their lives by using duplicates of the original ship instead of a poor bullion. It's also advisable to save them for ship retrofits too. Now tip number 7, the memento page consists of ship and retrofit archives, bands of ships, and memories cutscenes from events or story mode or secretary missions. The bands of ships is one of the important areas since it offers dorm furniture, gems, and some ships only obtainable there. Now tip number 8. the ship details you can see a bunch of stats like hit points, firepower, anti-air, anti-submarine warfare, armor type, torpedo, aviation, reload, evasion, oil cost and luck. Some ships specialize in certain gear only. To check on which ship you can put this type of gear on, click below the gear description in the depot area. 
Keep in mind that there may be a possibility that you run into two gears that look alike but one can be equipped by heavy cruisers while the other can be equipped by a battleship. Now tip number 9. Bind your account. Remember your server and especially your UID. As Elaine staff received many cases regarding lost accounts after maintenance or even after deleting the game and not playing for a long time. To bind your account, go to settings, go to account and bind your account through any of the two social media sites or use a Yoster account. Now tip number 10, play PvP to get Eldridge in South Dakota, do hard mode to earn core data which can be used to exchange for items or tech boxes through the core item shop, do daily challenges to earn rewards such as cognitive ships, for awakening, tech boxes, skill books, gear books, and submarine gear. Cognitive ships are similar to limit break, but only works for ships that are at level 100 and above. Well what are you waiting for Shikigans? Hopefully this video helped. I know it didn't. You decide on what and what not to do in as a lane. Thank you for watching this video. If there were things I didn't mention, let me know down below in the comments so I can further improve this. I'll just sit in a corner again. Well goodbye for now and may our end Jesus bless your gacha rolls. Just kidding you fucking degenerates.